What is up guys? Today I wanna share with you five top passive income strategies that you can get started with right now. So a big huge welcome to this channel. My name is Dallas Gordon. On this channel, I share business tips, business tips and more business tips and a little sprinkle of motivation. I also have my other channel, Grit and Grace, if you are interested in more of my spiritual and faith-based based content. Ooh, I can't talk today. I uh, invite you to check that out over there as well. So passive income, a lot of people, you know, are wondering, especially like my cl clients of mine or subscribers, why I have decided to start talking about Etsy again, why I've been really, really heavy talking about investments, why I've been really, really heavy talking about passive income strategies. So I promised that I would explain a little bit about my own situation and why I have decided to focus more in 2023 and beyond and really digging hard, really digging deep and making sure that I have my stakes in the ground with passive income strategy. So what I'll do is I will save that part for the end of the video. So if you stick around to the end, I'll share a little bit more of my own personal experience and why I'm setting up these things in my business like never before. So I wanted to come and share with you guys five passive income strategies. But before I do that, and these are all strategies that I have done myself, I'm not sharing anything with you that I have not done at some point or am not doing. Let's first talk about passive income and what is that? Because I think that there are a lot of misconceptions about passive income. What I want you to know is that passive income is just not like free money, right? It's not like you had to do absolutely nothing at all to get this income. This is just something that you just, you, you decide you want it and you, you, you have a, maybe a little bit of setup, but you really didn't do much for it. And then it just, money just rains down on you and falls in your lap. I wish that it was like that, especially as a little bit of a lazier business owner. I love to relax, I love to chill, I love the soft life, all of those things. So I definitely don't work myself, but so hard, but I have my moments. Um, for somebody like me, I would love to just not do anything to have to set something up and have money just raining into my lap, okay? But passive income, guys, does not quite work that way. It does not quite work that way. Passive income is more, you need to set it up. There is some work required to put it in place. There is some dedication required to put it in place, but it's normally less work than more active strategies, right? Um, once you put that thing in place, it may even been a little bit more work up front. Once you put it in place once, once it gains momentum, it pays you from there time and time and time again. You don't really have to work that hard to maintain the income once it starts to come in. You really don't have to touch that thing again, most likely in most cases to get that thing to keep coming. Like I've heard people to um, rope subscription box income or subscription box companies um, in the uh, category of passive income. Guys, that is not passive income. There is a lot of hard work to maintain subscription box businesses. There is a lot of work involved to continuously grow every month and to obtain your subscribers and to keep them happy and all that good stuff. There's a lot of work with budgeting and bill paying and all in product selection and managing teams. It is not passive income. It is something that you have to touch every single day in order for it to grow and operate and thrive. So these are different strategies. So the number one strategy that I want to share with you is selling courses. So if you do have a lot of knowledge on a particular subject, you have something that's in demand that people wanna learn how to do. And guys, I don't want you to think in a box with that. Some of the things that you know how to do, you think it's easy and you think it's not a big deal because you've always been doing it. But there are some people that really are like dying to learn it and dying to learn it from you because you've only done it all your life and it's very important to them to learn. So like gardening is important to people, sewing is important to people, um, writing, how to write a book, how to format a book. There are so many things that people need to learn how to do and they need to learn it from you and they need to learn it from your course. And when you don't put that course together and put it out there, and of course, you need to have strategies to be able to drive traffic 
to your course. Like maybe you have a YouTube channel and you talk about this topic all the time, but then you have the course there passively. So when people want to pay and learn from the course, they can come in and buy that. There are also platforms where you don't really have to do too much marketing of the course like Udemy and places like that and Skillshare, which you, where you can also share your knowledge in more of like a marketplace format where you teach all the time. And that is how you make your income because they already have traffic coming into their marketplace of people interested in learning. That's their marketplace. That's their job to bring you the traffic. That can be another great passive income strategy where you get paid over and over and over for a course that you did long ago. I'm on Skillshare and I'm on Udemy. I have courses on both platforms. I only have one course I ever did because it was a lot of work putting the course up on those platforms. There's a lot of work that goes into that but I'm still getting paid today on both platforms for one old, outdated, dusty Canva course I did years ago. Go look, check it out. It's there and it's old, <laughs> okay? I don't know why anybody would wanna buy it or look at it, but it's very old and it still makes me money. So that's number one. Number two is influencer. Um, being an influencer and getting brand deals. That's number two. So I think that a lot of people, um, when they think influencer, they think Instagram models, they think lots of pictures, they think like you gotta look like you just stepped out of a magazine. Well, look at me, I don't look like any of those things. I'm just regular every day <laughs> in Dallas. I don't wanna say that, but you know what I mean? I'm Dallas, I'm nobody's Instagram model. I probably could be if I wanted, but that's not my style, right? I'm not knocking anybody that does do that, but I am an influencer, right? An influencer is somebody who attracts people. They have a pretty good following across social media and on certain accounts. And when you have that following, there are brands that are like looking to work with you so that you can share um, their product on your content. Okay, and you, most of the time you share it one time and you get paid for that one share. And there's also user generated um, content as well. Okay, and you guys can definitely look that up and check that out as well that people are willing to pay you for. Even if you don't have a huge following, but you're really good at creating content for people, they're willing to pay you. Brands are willing to pay you for that content. The reason why I call it passive is because you may have to do the work up front, but you had to do very little work on that one piece of content for you to get paid, right, for that content. In some situations, you get paid over and over and over again for content that you only had done one time. Like there are some videos here on YouTube that some brands have paid me to do thousands, up, upwards of thousands of dollars to do content for them. And the video, I only had, it took me 20 minutes to record the video and I get a big check for that. So this is something that you definitely can think about. And I definitely feel like that's a passive strategy. Yes, you have to work to do the content, but you're not really going out of your way as a content creator to do content because you're creating content anyway. Another thing that content creation opens up for you that people don't think about is ad revenue. So when you start to create content on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, platforms like that, once you start to get a lot of views on your content, they start to open up a revenue share, ad share program with you. And when ads are ran on your channel or even on your Facebook or Instagram videos, because you've been generating lots of views to this content, you get paid off of that ad revenue. And that can be a really, really great income stream if you take it seriously. It's, I would say it's passive, because like I said, you do that work one time and then after that, you can get paid time and time and time again from your effort that you did months ago. You can still be getting paid for that content. There are videos on this channel that are up 10 years old that I'm still getting paid for from YouTube because I've been accepted into their revenue for ads program. So I get paid off of that content that I did a long time ago. I'm not even thinking about that content. I'm not even touching that content, but people are still watching those videos. So because of that, right, I'm still making that money. So that's something to think about. Number three is gonna be affiliate marketing. There are all kinds of ways to get involved with affiliate marketing. There are different types of affiliate marketing, but the one that I'm specifically talking about is when you are sharing something that you are already using on a platform and for that, you are getting affiliate payouts, okay? So let's just say you're really, really crazy about this soap powder that you've been using at Walmart and you sign up for Walmarts. And this is just a small, it's a small scale, guys, but I just wanna explain it. 
And so you sign up for Walmart's affiliate program and then you go onto your Facebook profile where you get lots of engagement and you do a quick video of how you love this and how they should try and how your link is in the comments. Or you go on your YouTube channel and you are an Amazon reviewer. These big time Amazon review channels, guys, you're wondering how do they get paid? They're getting paid from multiple angles. They're doing gift guides for you on YouTube and sharing all their affiliate links. And on top of that, most likely they're also getting ad revenue. They're also getting paid from some of the brands that they're featuring on their channel as well. So doing this these days and being influencer and being a reviewer and doing these things, you can easily become an affiliate marketer. When you put your affiliate link out there to refer people to different products that you are suggesting, you can make revenue from that on a very, very large scale and get some very, very nice revenue from doing that. Number four is marketplace selling. I have another video that I put out. It might be out already, but I'm sharing how I'm back on Etsy again this year, real heavy. I have multiple stores on Etsy and I am tapping into marketplace traffic to be able to build me more passive income, income that I don't have to work that hard for. I just have to sit on my computer to list the stuff. We're paying somebody to do that. And once it gains momentum, I don't even have to fill the orders, guys, because I'm using print on demand and digital downloads. So this is a really great strategy to help you to move forward towards your success and towards your goals. Number five is gonna be book publishing. I think it's something that people overlook, but that's another platform I have on my radar right now. I would love to get back up on KDP and publish some books. Right now, I actually have a book that I wrote called From Pain to Power. I wrote it some years ago. The book still brings in revenue, not a ton, but imagine if I took that one book and I published multiple different books. And I think when people think of books, they're thinking about like a whole book like I wrote for that, but there are short stories. There are journals, there are low content books, there are medium content books, there are all kinds of books that you could be publishing on um, Amazon and other places and getting paid revenue, you know, monthly for that. So you definitely want to check that out. So let me know in the comments if you have enjoyed this video. Are there any passive income strategies that I have shared that you are interested in or that you have already done or that you're doing now? I would love to know in the comments. Let me know. So for the end of this video, oh guys, and don't forget if you are interested in being in the Goal Getter community, the official Goal Getter community, please check out um, the subscription on this channel. You are free to subscribe to this channel, which will induct you into the Goal Getter tribe. Um, these are my supporters of the channel and monthly they give their support and in return, I give some amazing perks. So definitely check out the link in the description box or the join button. Um, on my channel and you'll see um, the different options and perks that I'm giving for my supporters. So to end this video, guys, I wanna end it with my own personal story for those who just wanna kinda know what I'm up to and what I'm doing. I didn't wanna slow down our content for my stuff, for my nonsense, but one of the reasons why I've decided to really, really buckle down tight on my passive income strategies, meaning like I'm real heavy on, on my investments right now. I know you got maybe some of you guys have heard about some of the Forex um, investments that are going crazy right now. You know, marketplace selling is my zone of genius. So I've been back on marketplaces really, really heavy. Some of you know, I also have a subscription box business. What I do want to say in reference to that is that the economy is changing and people are definitely clenching harder and tighter onto their purses. And the economy change is gonna affect so many of us. It's already started to affect some of us, right? So many of us. So as a business owner and just as a person in general, it's super, super important that you prepare for that, okay? And I know with me, I don't like to say that I'm getting older. I like to say that I'm getting wiser and that I'm evolving over time. And as I do evolve into a beautiful blossoming young lady, I want to make sure that I'm working smarter and not harder, right? So I know that I am not a hard labor worker. I'm not a hard labor kind of person. I like to work smart and I like to put my stakes in the ground and to create more income opportunities that do not require me. 
Okay, so yes, I wanna be traveling with my family, continue to travel. I would love for me and my kids and my husband to live on, in another state or in another island for months at a time and our business are able to run while we are away. That is what you call passive income, stuff that can run when you are not around, stuff that does not physically require you. So I know with the subscription box business, it's amazing, but it is a lot of work. It requires a lot of me. It requires a lot of my family. So I've definitely been focusing around putting some other things um, in place like digital strategies, digital products, print on demand products that don't require as much of me physically, which is just um, sort of like a goal for me um, going forward is that I will only be doing um, a lot of anything new that I'm taking on will not require much of me. It will be more so passive. So that's my reason for making some shifts and for really buckling down guys real hard um, this year and beyond on those strategies. So I just wanted to share that guys, but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, be blessed, have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.